Hello and welcome back to Olympus Craft. This should be episode four, and you'll notice that I've done a lot. I've done a lot, a lot. First thing, I've got a mechanical crafters here. Mainly I built these up so that uh, I was able to create the crushing wheels. It's the biggest thing I needed. These, these were not as bad as I thought once I got into it. It was just some redstone and some quartz. Used up a lot of my redstone resources. But, uh, yeah, we have mechanical crafters now, so we can... It's not really auto-crafting. You have to place the items in here manually, and then you have to give it rotational power. And with the speed I have this whole thing running right now, it won't run this, so I have the belt disconnected. Um, I can move a shaft here to take it down to a lower gear, kind of like a gear shift. thought that was kind of cool. I had to add a whole bunch more water wheels just to get this thing to run. But, yeah, we got this going. I'll talk about that building in just one second. We crafted ourselves up a mega torch, diamond magnum torch. Not too bad, just four diamonds, some other little things. Down here, I made our crushing wheels. So I've been crushing up some of the cobblestone we've been making, turning it into both gravel and sand. I also ground some wheat so that I can get wheat flour. I'm just gonna use this as storage. Whole bunch of gear reduction, another water wheel. It's the easiest way we have to power things right now. Again, most of this is somewhat temporary. Once I get my main base built, then a lot of that stuff will move over into there, and it'll be much better looking and not look kind of like this. Um, I've been hard at work at clearing away this mountain, just slowly, piece at a time. And then this is my power plant. So we'll pop into free cam here and kind of take a look. It's obviously not done yet. But I'm going to have two cooling towers, uh, a centerpiece in the middle, and then the control building here. And uh, this is where I'm going to generate the power for my base, which my base will eventually be all out through here. A uh, lot of land clearing to do yet, but that's uh, kind of par for the course at this point. Um, I did find a slime chunk, and I started to clear it out a little bit, but I kind of got distracted with this over here. So we'll, we'll come back to this later. Uh, I found a good way to get slime from one of the villagers, and I believe it's the, not these guys, it's the one of, they're, uh, he's around here somewhere. He's the technical one with the AE2 stuff. I think it's this one here. Yeah, it's got the uh, charging station there or whatever. And uh, yeah, so I've been busy at work. Down here, I have built myself a lava farm. We have all the cauldrons and stuff, and it's pumping into a big fluid tank. I need to make this tank bigger to store more lava. But I'm going to kind of use this as an infinite lava source to eventually power a steam engine. That's going to be the best and most powerful way to generate rotational power rather than water wheels and stuff like that. So that's what that thing is for. We're generating lava left and right, which is nice. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of like the biggest updates. I've just been kind of grinding away, working at everything, clearing land. The clearing land is so boring and annoying, but... You know, I'm getting started on some of this stuff. I've moved over the, let's see, yeah, the power setup has now moved over to here. This is where my energizing orb is. And, you know, I got the solar panel up there. I've upgraded these to spirited. I still only have the hardened cables, but upgraded these to spirited. So we now have a good bit of power generation here and we can store 16 million FE. Our inscriber and charger are over here now. Again, this is kind of a temporary setup. And I've got my controller and my drive over here, but these are not hooked up to anything yet. I kind of wanted to do that with you guys on camera here, just uh, just to kind of get started with it. I've only got a single 1K storage disk, and I think uh, I need to make a whole bunch more of those and upgrade them to like the 16s and stuff like that, because I have an absolute ton of junk laying around. I mean, just stuff everywhere. And that's becoming a bit of a problem. I've got all these chests full up here. Uh, I've got stuff just thrown every different... I made another pair of engineer's goggles because I couldn't find those. I've got barrels here. Storing cobblestone. And then i got all these chests over here. Most of these are pretty full as well. So I've got just stuff laying everywhere. And I don't know where anything's at. I'm looking for cables right now, but I don't know where my cables are at. They're in a chest somewhere. So I've really got to get everything torn apart and moved over to a better storage system because I have cables somewhere and I just don't know where they're at. Well, I spent all this time trying to find those cables and they're in my inventory. Okay. Anyway, let's go uh, hook up this 
system over here, this AE2 system. There's going to be some things we need. We're going to need a terminal, and we should probably go ahead and look about crafting that up. This is the crafting terminal here. Um, I need to make a regular ME term terminal, so we've got a lot of stuff to make. This, we're going to run some cables across this direction so that we can come out of that. And then really the only thing that needs power is the controller. And we'll just put the controller right here for right now. It will power up. And we're still good on power there. And we're still good on power there. Okay. So we have enough power to actually run this system right now. I'm going to place the drive right beside it for right now. Again, pretty temporary. I'm going to put that in there and we show online. Device is online. Very good. It doesn't need its own power source because it actually draws power from the controller. So we can probably just break this cable here. And then the now we need the, the, the panels. So I'm going to get to work on the terminal, sorry. And uh, I'll meet you guys back here when I have all that crafted up. All right, this was a gigantic hassle. Uh, they, there's so many pieces to this puzzle, it's crazy. So I got some, built some drives up and I'm slowly storing away at some of my items. I don't have a whole lot in here right now. One of the things I would love to have would be one of these, the wireless uh, grids or wireless crafting terminal. So I can be anywhere in my base here and be able to access my storage system basically. And I'm gonna craft up those, I have to add it to the system. I got a lot of stuff to figure out. But yeah, we have a digital storage system now. Everything's going to have to slowly be moved from over there over into here, and it's going to take quite a while. So I'm not going to show a lot of that on camera just because it's so grindy, just moving stuff. But yeah, we have a digital storage, and I am so excited about it. It's going to make it so much easier to craft stuff on the fly, especially if I get the wireless, then I can just be anywhere working on building something here and then open up the, the wireless and, and grab the items that I need and craft on the go. Not that I can't craft with my backpack, I can craft inside my backpack, but it's much easier if you can actually pull from your storage as you craft. So it, it makes it much simpler to be able to uh, get the things you need. Okay, let's do an update on my progress. As you saw from that quick time lapse there, we did a whole lot of world eating. Used a, uh, the mechanical drills, just powered it off the side over there, and yeah, we've got a nice flat area. Gonna do some more terraforming. There's gonna be like this section here I kinda wanna take out. We have to flatten everything down. We have to put a proper base down, which will probably be concrete powder, something along those lines. But yeah, we've, we've, we've destroyed the mountain. I started off with TNT, and that's kind of what you see here. This is the remnants of the TNT, and it just wasn't working. Um, it was taking way too long. It wasn't even, stuff like that. So I was like, wait a minute, we have mechanical drills. So I've mechanical drilled this whole area out. We're going to smooth out things like that, and then along this side, it'll slope things down, make it look nice. And then we finished up the power plant. Uh, it's a small build. And uh, it worked out pretty well. It's uh, not doing much now. I just got a single solar panel in there now. I just moved it from inside to outside. Added these really cool hospital doors is what they're called. Uh, and uh, yeah, walk in here. One solar panel. I eventually want to have like four solar panels up there at least. Maybe even eight. And then this can also be a place for a reactor or something like that whenever we, uh, we do that. Over in here, these are just empty. And we just have hay bales with campfires on top of it, giving it that really cool smoke effect. And when you put campfires on hay bales, they make they get smokier. So they have a nice dense smoke coming up out of them. So I think that's kind of cool. Both towers have that. Nothing's in them yet. But yeah, that's what that's doing. Here in here, we've created a wireless access point and added some boosters. We still have yet to get the rest of the wireless stuff because it's really expensive. 
Um, but yeah, we got the security terminal ready to go. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good in here for applied energistics. We're going to work on this obviously more. Most of this stuff is going to get moved over into the main base build whenever we get to that, which is hopefully going to be semi soon. But there is some other things in Create that I want to do first. I want to make a potato cannon and some of the other things. Uh, there's a lot of fun, fun things that we can make with all these, uh, mod pieces and stuff like that. So I'm super excited about it. So I think we are almost to the point now where we can start getting things a little more ready to actually build. We're going to have to do some resource gathering and uh, a few other things as well. But yeah, we're getting, we're moving along here. Well, my frame rate's really bad facing this way and then it's really good facing this way. Um, I have been experimenting with shaders. I have been running with shaders this whole time, but if it continues to be a low frame rate, which right now we're at 27, 30 FPS looking at all the create stuff, we may have to just go back to the vanilla one. I love the look of this, but uh, there's something to be said about having a good playable experience. Cause yeah, we're facing this way. We're getting, yeah, 60 FPS over here. We're not helps if I get a better graphics card. Maybe that'll come in the future. Oh, I have to put this on camera. I'm out looking for pigs right now, and I have found a pink sheep. You get to live today. But yeah, I thought these were pretty rare. Kind of cool to find one out in the wild. Yeah, I'm just out searching for pigs. So you might be asking, why was I out looking for pigs? Well, I discovered a food in here that happens to be one of my favorite foods in real life. And it's a very polarizing food. Either people love it or they hate it. But it's this right here. Pineapple on pizza. Pineapple pepperoni pizza. It's actually quite complicated to make. We need to make some pepperoni first. And then, let's see, we need cheese, which we need a cooking pot. We'll make one of those. Oh, nice. Potted. <laughs> and then we need a milk bucket. So we need to go grab a bucket and find a cow. And luckily we have plenty of cows over here, so we're just gonna snag a bucket of milk. And we'll go ahead and make our cheese. There we go. We're getting there, almost there. We need dough, which is a bucket of water and flour. I did create flour with the crushing wheels, so we have that handy. All right, we'll go ahead and create our dough. There we go. And then we need a frying pan. We can just make that out of iron. Then I believe we combine all of this together. Yes, we have it. The one, the only pineapple on pizza. Let's go ahead and just eat this one and celebrate and rejoice. Ah, there we go. One of my favorite meals in real life. So I'm thinking I might, uh, I know some people on the server like it. Some people hate it. So I think I might have to make a bunch of these and uh, send them around to everyone. All right, that's going to be it for me today. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next episode.